Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Tomb Raider Unfinished Business. So, yep, we're going back to the old school Tomb Raider. And, um, yeah, I'm showing you a picture at the moment because basically the menu screen that I'm looking at at the moment is no different to the original Tomb Raider. So I'm showing you the unfinished business, like what it would look like on their title menu screen. But, yep, without any further delay, let's jump into the first level. And in this level, this level is known as Return to Egypt. So, as you may have gathered, this is actually the city of Kamun. And this is actually above, like, the big area first. So we're jumping here to get the health pack first. Now, this expansion pack only has four levels and in total of ten secrets. So when you come down here... This is actually the, two, the, the city of Kamun. That's where you get the artifacts, like from the, the city of Kamun. Not the obelisk of Kamun, sorry. And let's... I just kind of want to get that crocodile first. There we go. Now, this level has three secrets. There you go. Got rid of that croc. So we'll do that, and I think when you step on this platform, it actually activates a secret in the water. As you can see, this place is flooded from the last time Lara was here, man. So this is actually where you would go past, and this is where the panthers would appear. But this is actually first secret. So you want to be careful, though, because there's a crocodile in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to swim back out. And lure that crocodile back out. Because he'll be a pain in the bum like to get later. Well, I mean, not later, but you know what I mean. Like, if we have pain, like get the secrets out of there. He's coming towards me now. Right, there we go. About the water. Then we gotta shoot the guy. There we go. Then we can dive in the water and get whatever was in the... Was in the other room. Yeah, like I said, this level only has three secrets. So let's swim down here. I did actually practice play this, like, while I was editing and rendering the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which I last... which I've not finished playing, which I've not long just finished playing. So, yep. And we are 13 days away from the release of... Tomb Raider Remaster. So, very hyped for that. I mean, I've finished all the main ones, but I really want to do the expansion packs, too. So, yep. Just collect whatever in here. This is just to stock up some supplies until a lot later section. Because this game does get quite tedious in late later places. Don't expect this to be a no meds run, either, because... Yeah, I'm still fairly new to playing this myself, so... Even though I know everything that's about, but doesn't mean I'm an ex I'm a, doesn't mean I'm an expert in any way, shape, or form. Right. So this is not a secret, but this is just like I said, it's just to build up some supplies. So let's come out here. Get this crocodile. So we don't want to be smiling at you. This is the PC version, so it'll be easier to save. There is actually a PlayStation version. I did try to emulate that to see if I could use that instead, but quite annoying to... Oop. I'm going to lure this crocodile out so I can get the shotgun shells in there easily. So let's get out. Let me shoot you. Right, now we can dive in the water. Well, didn't exactly dive because I had my guns equipped, so... You just see me jump in there. Right, there's some shotgun shells. So now where we actually want to go is actually through... this way. This is actually a shortcut to where the other room was. 
which is another room you'll be familiar with if you've seen the Tomb Raider playthrough. So we swim through here. See, there's the boulder that we let loose. I think there's another croc in here somewhere. I'm almost certain there's one in here. I might be talking out of my bum, but... I swear there is one. Yeah, there is one. Right here. Right, so where we want to go is actually in that place right there. Oh, dang. Because that's actually where that dark room was, like where the panthers were about. So, we jump in the water. Lever is right here. Now, each side is sloped, so you'll be like, are you supposed to get out of here? The way you get out is basically you come to this side of the room, climb on out, and jump backwards. That's how you get out. And there's a panther up there, which um, is kind of is kind of odd, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm going to go waste my time with them because we, we, we will never encounter those pan panthers ever. They're just there for, for the sake of being there. So, yep. So we come through here next. Right, and then from here, we come through to this room and jump to here. There's a panther that's going to jump behind you. So we slide down here, roll, and then we are going to walk past these spikes. We're going to come this way first. So we jump up to here. Run and jump up here. Don't grab. I shall just bang off the wall and die, basically. Then we jump to here. Jump backwards down. Run and jump here. Then we jump up this wall here. And this room is a secret. You stand here, that opens that door. That's the exit. We've got shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. Then we come around here. And there's Magnum ammo. We do miss the good old Magnums. Well, here they are now. Well, I mean, not the actual guns, but the ammo for it. And then, from here, we're going to run and jump to this part. Jump back and grab. And just drop yourself down here. Now, the last two secrets are actually pretty close by. So we're going to run around here. Go around. And then we're going to come here. Because this is actually where the third and final secret is. Like I said, this level is actually pretty easy for the secrets. Just as a whole, this level could be quite tedious. Let's deal with this panther first. Come on, kitty. Who's a good kitty? I don't know how I didn't take damage there, but... There you go, there's the panther. Now be careful with this room, because you don't want to go too far in. There's a boulder there. It's going to drop as soon as you try and run and jump over here. Okay, so... We just climb up these little blocks here. And what we do here... You can drop down here to get these shotgun shells. This is not the secret, but we are approaching the secret. So we climb up to here, roll, make sure we're all the way back, run and jump up to here. Now this jump here can be a bit of a trick. So what I would suggest, walk straight to this corner here, and then jump and turn here. Oh, as I was saying, we want to jump forward, grab. I thought you had to turn there, but I'm not sure what went wrong there. Anyway. We go up here. Roll. Run and jump. To this platform here. And there's the shotgun. Lovely secret. 
one of the bestest secrets in this game, <laughs> in this level. But, oh, jeez, I, I didn't want to go while I'm forward, but... Never mind. Now... There's two ways you could do about this. You can either go where you need to go, which is down here. Or if you want extra supplies, you can walk past those spikes. And I'll show you how to do that now, actually. First off, I need to equip the shotgun. Because it'll be easy to get past this bit. The reason I'm equipping the shotgun... Is to hear the danger music. There's a panther. They only take two shots with a shotgun. And it's a bit difficult to do combat here because you can't really jump. Because if you jump, you will die in the spikes. So it's really just to get these shotgun shells and the shotgun shells that are on that. So it's not a huge deal to get up to. And there's no point going down that corridor either because all there is is that boulder that we just triggered before we got the, the third secret. Right, now that we've done that part, we can now progress what we're supposed to do. So, we pulled that block back. So, what we do next is that we push this block forward twice. And, not, not, not hop up, Lara. We're gonna push it again. There we go. Then, I'm not sure if there's anything behind there. I don't, I don't think I searched that. No, I don't think there is anyway. Alright, now we come down here. I'm going to equip the pistols again. And while we're here... I mean, we need to go up there anyway, because that's got the key that we need. Quickly climb up there, because there's a panther down there. I could chomp you, basically. Because in this room, you can also get another item that will be very nice to have for a later section. Because this is the key that you'll need a little later. First things first, we're going to... I swear there's a crocodile in the water somewhere. May as well start shooting you for a bit, because you'll be a pain later. I swear there's a crocodile in the water. Like, what's the deal with that one? Okay, I'm just going to swim down here because, like, um... It's quite rewarding what you get here. Even though we got all the secrets, there's still some useful little items that you can get later. Well, that will be helpful for later. So what we do... Let me climb out of the water here. you got to be careful because you want to jump up here first. Because you see, there's the magnums. I'm not going to use the magnums just yet, because I kind of want to save the ammo for a lot later on. There we go, there's the croc gun. There's some magnum ammo there for you. Don't even know where the croc is. There he is. Didn't I? No, come on, man. There's another one in there. Yeah, there's one down here. Was that the same one? I think more spawn as soon as you pick up this health pack. Which we won't need to worry about, but I think you need to worry about the one that's probably going to swim towards me by the time I swim out. Which is what I was a little scared of because that's why I was trying to shoot before I got into this room, but... They didn't want to play nice that way, so... We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. But fortunately, we got the magnums. So we probably won't even need to worry about the crocs that are in the water now. So we jump over here. Then we got to jump on this bridge. For some reason, the panther can't run on this bridge, which makes no sense to me, to be honest. So... I think the panther will run towards you as soon as you get to here. So you can get some cheeky shots off him while he comes towards you. Stand on here again so that he comes towards. There you go. Now, I'm not sure if there's any purpose coming here. I think it's just for... Like I said, it's just for a health pack. 
For example. And then we gotta come up this way. Oh, no wait. I don't need to go this way. I mean, you can do it that way if you like, but all you had to do is just run around to, towards where the bridge is. So when we come up, there will be a socket somewhere. I, I, I forget which side I'm supposed to climb up. I think it's up here, actually. No, it's not up here. So I think it was this side. Yep, there we go. I'm going to get my pistol sight because it's a croc going to come down this way. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if I killed the croc, but I did. Okay. Now, to get more equipment, we're going to come up here. I am stocking up some stuff now. I don't even bother going down there because I think there's a spike trap from what I can remember anyway in the top of my head. Now, are we going to get this health pack? Now, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to come down the safer way, so... So we come down this way. You get down the same way you got it. Right, so when we come down here, we're going to enter that room where the croc was. Now, we're going to hang ourselves off the side here. So there's the two crocodiles I was trying to shoot in the water, but they didn't want to show up. It's not a nice game. Anyway, like I said, we just shimmy across here. And we shimmy all the way to the end so that we got a nice little space that we can climb up. Yeah, why did I decide to do this now? Like I said, I wanted to complete these ones so it makes it easier for me to do it on the live stream because i've beaten the first one like off screen when i was editing shadow of the tomb raider and i started the second one but i have no way in heck i'm going to be able to do the to do the third one because you can't download it and um the game is really hard to find online whether it's ebay and when you do find it it's really expensive Okay, this room, however, is nasty. I'm going to run up here a little bit just to do that, to trigger the boulders, and then just jump to here. Because I think that's all the boulders anyway. At least on that side anyway. Because you're going to come down here anyway, so... So when you come down here, there's going to be panthers, so you need to shoot them quickly. Or at least... Pop off what you can at them at the moment. Oh, there's one by me. I think that's the one that I weakened earlier. But can't tell now because I can't aim it from here. Oh, dang. I thought I had a lock on it. There you go. There's one of them. There's the other one. Now you got to be careful with these parts as well because as soon as you step here, there's going to be a panther, I think. I think when you step here. There we go. There we go. There are panthers everywhere in this level. <laughs> panthers for days. Oh, dang. I was trying to, sh I was trying to jump up, but there we go. Pops that one off. Now, you can go up this way for other supplies, but... Because again, there's a panther here. Let's climb down here for a second, just so that he comes back. There you go, got it. Right. Now we're coming down here. I think it's a shotgun shell and magnums. Right. We do that. And now the gate's open there because we encountered this part. Just to make it more convenient to get back out. 
And then when we do that, we're going to come this way. Pick up the health pack. So whenever I get round to live streaming the third one, um, the way I'm going to do it, well, no, not live stream. I mean, let's play it. Like, I do want to live stream the remaster one, but like I said, the game, the remaster gives you an option to switch between like the original graphics and you can do that if you want to look outside. But yeah, the remaster gives you the option to switch between the original graphics like the polygons that we're playing now and the remaster one. So if I can do that with the, if I can do that with um, the Lost Artifact, I'll be able to play it using that game using that graphic, like the original polygons. So, not all is lost. I'm still going to let's play that in a way. People might, might, may or may not tell the difference, but, you know, as long as it looks like the original game, it should not matter in one bit. Okay, so we got everything we need down here. That The doors that we need to open up there. Right. I'm hoping that I triggered the last boulder here because that scared me a bit. There's a panther here. I think we're getting fairly close to the end, too. There you go. And we got that panther. When we get here, jump forward. How am I even still alive at this point, man? Okay, so... I'm going to scoot to the side. Jump forward here. Pick these ammo up. Then we got to jump to this bit. Well, I mean, we'll jump to that bit in a bit. I'm just getting the, 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 the that bit in a bit. All right. But yeah, I was just picking the shotgun shells up first. And then jump here to get s the, the small health pack. Notice I haven't even used a health pack in this level yet. I'm getting good at this game. <laughs> Don't want to speak too soon, though, because the next area is a bit of a, bit of a nuisance, to be honest. So, yep. And then now that we're here, jump backwards. I'm going to dive down. Oh, I banged it into the thingy thing. Swim away from the croc. Because what I want to do first is I want to get the... Oh, don't do that, Laura. It's just gonna suck if I die now. Oh, dang it, hole. Well, now suddenly both the crocodiles are chasing after me. Right, hopefully I got a head start here to outswim them a bit. Just far enough so I can get this this lever. Dang it, Lara so slow at pulling the levers underwater. Oh, jeez. Okay, and there's a panther that's going to spawn as soon as you get out of here. So you got to dodge out the way of that. Oh, dang. I'm being so stubborn with health packs. Let's just use it. Screw it. <laughs> I've got tons of them. Got loads, man. There you go. Got that one. I think there's another one when you come up here. Or is it just boulders? Yeah, it's boulders. Okay, so... Shotgun shells. There's a health pack here. Now we can get good. <laughs> right. There are items you can get up here as well, but I kind of want to get the crocs in the water first. If they would spawn, that is. So I want to get the... I want to get a... Sh oh, shoot. <laughs> I keep forgetting this isn't... This isn't Square Enix's games anymore. I'm not allowed to swear in this one because there's no swearing in this game. We don't swear in these let's plays, Kieran. Because it wasn't a bigger deal for the Square Enix ones because it's rated 18 and stuff, but this one's slightly more toned down. Where's the other croc? Oh, snap. Okay. Alright, we got that guy. Well, the guy, the croc, 
Right, the, the shotgun shells are here. And people will be like, why are you not using the good ammo gear? And I'm like, I'll get to it. I will get to it. Just calm down. Like, just no point using it in this level because this level's quite easy. Well, I mean, compared to the, the ones after this, anyway. Alright, now we drop backwards and let the panther do its thing. Uh! Right. I think the story of the game is, like, the first two levels, it's actually based months after the first game. Because Lara apparently wanted to explore the temple again because she saw, she saw something to do with the cat's, the cat's monument. So she kind of wanted to explore that. She didn't know about it. So I, it's, it, that's a glimpse of the story anyway. So what I do here, roll here and run here. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's do it like this. There we go. So when we're up here, it's easy to snipe the, the mummies from. There's a panther down there that I didn't know of. Right, if I can just knock off one of these, there we go. It'll make my job a little more easier. I got that mummy as well. And now, get this panther while I'm at it. Because why not? Because <laughs> why not? How is that panther able to run through the fence? Bruh. Come on, man. I don't think there's a way in hell I can reach them from here. <laughs> anyway, um, I think there's a crocodile in the water. Because there's items in the water too that you can get. When you approach that mummy up there, that's actually the end of the level. But there's a few things I want to get around here first. Like one of the best secrets in the world, by the way. Well, not a secret, but you know what I mean. Alright, I got the croc in the water, so I think there's an item in here that you can crack up. I think it's a shotgun shell. Yeah, no, it's a health pack, sorry. Okay. So we got that. And then, what we do next? Climb up. Like I said, as soon as you get there, that's the end of the level, but... See, the mummy just drops in there for some reason, which is weird. We want to run and jump around here. Dang it, missed it. There you go. Oh, there's a panther here as well. Oh, yeah. Don't touch certain platforms. Right, there's certain ground here that you can't touch. So, as you saw, I randomly died for so for no reason. So, oh, dang. Right, we'll try this again. Let's run and jump to here. And just come down here. Now I can't even get over it. What is with this? Now, I promise you it's rewarding when you get to this, right? So do it like that. Hop up to here. Because when you jump into here... You get this. The Uzis. So I have no idea why it's programmed like that. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Like, you just... Walk on certain tiles and it just kills you randomly. Like, what? It's not, it's not even the panther that killed me. It's not even one of those mummy things that killed me. Not even the crocodiles, man. There's something about that that was programmed in such an awkward way that it just kills you for no reason. What's so flipping ever? And the mummy's coming after me, lovely. I'm gonna keep shooting it till it comes back. I can shoot that one, but... At what cost? At what bleeding cost? Alright, so we'll get this mummy as well. There's a panther down there too. Now we'll go get this panther as well. Makes my life easier to get back. We jump over here and... I mean, you could do that as well. Like they, ex The game expects you to walk all the way around where that boulder is. And then you could jump on like this platform, but you could do it like that too. As you can see, 
There's a platform right there that you stand on, that you run around and stand on that platform, and you jump over the fence here. But I basically did it a hack's way, so you don't need to worry about doing it that way. And with that, as soon, like I said earlier, as soon as you get to this thing right here, and then approach it, that's the end of the level. That's been returned to Egypt. So we've killed 27 enemies, picked up 44 items, all three secrets, and it took me nearly half an hour to beat. So yep, pretty good run so far. Um, so yep, I guess with that, it's going to conclude this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And as per usual, if you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on this channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update and we will see you in the next video or live stream. Thank you for watching and goodbye.